Hello, insiders. You know the drill. If it's Tuesday, it's Newsday. So let's get into it. An update for our live streamers. As you know, your audience can react to your live stream using emojis like the heart, 100%, or the party popper. Now you'll have analytics that will allow you to see your reactions in real time. You will now be able to see how many and what kind of reactions yours had to your live stream. Visit the content then overview tab to check out your reactions. This feature is available on Studio Web and mobile. Next, we're providing a filter for you to see the number of impressions broken out by your new and returning viewers. The goal is to help you better understand your audience so that you can adapt your content strategy, if you choose, to attract both new and returning viewers. We're rolling out this feature and you can find it in YouTube Studio Analytics in advanced mode. Let us know what you think in the comments. Next, you can now live stream to YouTube in HDR. With HDR, you get crisper whites, inkier blacks, and better looking colors that pop. HDR also allows you to capture much more detail in your stream because fine grained color gradations are preserved instead of being smeared out, resulting in hyper detailed, hyper realistic streams for your viewers. Since the latest OBS 30.1 release, you can now stream in HDR to YouTube over RTMP. Use your existing RTMP workflows and leverage the highest quality and capability that YouTube offers for your viewers to get the best possible experience. You can also live stream in HDR for gaming if the game you are playing is also in HDR. Your monitor must support HDR and your camera, if applicable, should also support HDR for PQ or HLG. Please note that currently you can use the HEVC codec to stream in HDR, but streaming HDR with AB1 is not yet supported. And that's it for this week from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. We'll see you next week.